Hello and welcome to another edition of another book review. This week I'll be reviewing Black Sad, The Collected Stories, a set of graphic novels. I'll talk real briefly about the creative team behind it, give a spoiler-free overview of uh, what this is, talk about what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, who I'd recommend the book to, and finish off with what I'll be reading for next time. I'm going to mispronounce their names and I apologize beforehand, but I believe the writer's name is Juan Diaz Canales and the artist is uh, Juanjo Guarnido. Again, if I mispronounce those, I apologize, but both that, our creative team have been working together for about 20 years on this comic, Black Sad. Uh, they've done a little bit of work outside of the comic, but mostly what they're known for is this work. Uh, what this is, the collected stories, is Black Sad is a, a detective character who's been in a series of graphic novels that have come out over the last 20 years. Um, and this uh, Black Sad collected stories collects all of them into one collection one large 300-page-plus uh, collection. So it's a great jumping-on point if you haven't read any of them before. Uh, for the most part, they're standalone. There's a little bit of crossover in some of the characters, uh, but each one of them really does stand on its own. Um, Black Sad is a detective character. Uh, his name's John Black Sad. He is a detective who works mostly in New York, but throughout the, the stories travels to different places. And he is a veteran in the war uh, from World War II. This is set, I think, primarily in the 50s. Uh, I think it's like the late 50s. There's, I think there's indications of the year, but I don't know if you're ever given the years when the stories take place. Um, but it's basically uh, hard-boiled detective fiction in a comic book form. And so you have kind of all the tropes. You have kind of the damsel in distress. You have kind of pretty dark crimes that people are accused of, things like kidnapping and murder, and the main character's job is to kind of figure out what happened and bring some kind of set of justice to what's going on. Um, the, the book is really known for the fact that every character in the book is, and uh, I'm going to mispronounce this word too, uh, anthropomorphized uh, uh, animal. So it's a, a, an animal that has human characteristics, so there are no humans in the book. Everyone is an animal, and that's kind of done to both serious and comedic effect. Uh, for instance, you have uh, waiters who are penguins, and you have, uh, instead of having Uncle Sam as a human being, he's in an, uh, the shape of a bald eagle, in the form of a bald eagle. So I think just breaking down what I liked about the book, I think it, the book works really, really well in terms of if you are someone who likes hard-boiled fiction, of the stories feeling uh, true. Uh, they don't really go into the world of tropes uh, in terms of feeling tired and stale. It does definitely lean on some tropes and some things you've seen before, but I think they're usually done in a fresh or interesting way. There's not a ton of dialogue in the book, uh, any of the stories. The dialogue's used pretty sparingly. Words are used pretty sparingly, and I think that the artist uh, Juan Guarnido does a great job of telling a story through really lavishly painted uh, panels. Um, I really enjoyed his art style. It's very detailed. Every place and every room you go into feels unique, and you can kind of understand why it may have taken a long time between each of these stories because it's so kind of painstakingly realized, and the colors and everything look amazing. Um, so I really enjoyed them. Each story has a little bit of a different feel to it and is set in a little bit of a different era. It does tackle pretty serious subjects along with kind of things like uh, murders and kidnappings. You also have stories that are about race. You have stories that are about uh, the essentially the Red Scare. You have a story that's really about um, – uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to word this without spoiling um, – you have other uh, relatively dark drug abuse. You have some pretty dark stuff in there. Um, but it's all done without a wink and a nod. It's just done really straightforward. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I think if I had some criticisms to give, um, some of the stories have uh, uh, villains that maybe aren't as drawn out as I would have liked. And uh, I would have, there's a couple times where I link, there's a little bit of motivation missing in some of the stories and some of the characters a little would have, would have liked a little bit more detail on that um and some of the stories could have been a little bit longer to to draw some of that stuff out um i think on the art side there are times where um the art looks great it's amazing there's sometimes in 
individual panels were a little difficult to understand what was happening in action sequences especially and there are sometimes panel to panel that the transitions don't quite work where I found myself having to kind of go back and reread them. But those are pretty minor criticisms. I think if you're someone who likes uh, graphic novels to begin with and also wants something that's outside of the superhero genre, I think this is a really uh, great work to look at. It's relatively, like I said, this is, I read this in about a day and it's uh, five individual standalone stories. You, they're written in order and you do need to re read them in order to get what's going on for the most part, but they're also standalone enough to where there's not a huge uh, continuity issue that you need to know going into it. So if you're someone who enjoys uh, detective fiction, hard-boiled de de fiction, if you like really gorgeously painted panels, and uh, the one thing, another thing to add that I liked a lot, uh, the writer and artist do a good job of bringing the character out of New York City. Uh, so he does travel a little bit in these stories and he does see other places. And I think that gave the book a little bit of a fresh air and kind of kept it from being the same old, same old. Uh, so I did appreciate that as well. But if you're someone who, who wants those things, if that sounds interesting to you, I would definitely check it out. Uh, Black Sad Collected Stories. Uh, next time I'm actually still waiting on my package, but next time I plan on reading uh, No Shame in My Game, uh, the nonfiction work. So until next time, please feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, bye.